tailgaters, the fans, the food, and the frenzy at Lucas Oil Stadium. And we're tracking uh, cold air for us tonight, but not incredibly cold temperatures falling to the 40s, low 40s, something like the 30s, your full forecast coming up. I'm Kayla Sullivan, and on today's Kidding with Kayla, I am taking you through a parenting training course at Lucas Oil Stadium. Plus, the Colts haven't beaten the Steelers since 2008 when the Sheriff was in town. We'll tell you if that's a factor for all you all Indiana betters out there as Monday Night Football's pregame begins on Wish TV. Monday, November 28th, and today is all about football. Thank you for spending the day with us here on All Indiana. We have full coverage of what fans can expect tonight, starting off with News 8's Charlie Clifford. He's live at Lucas Oil Stadium as the Colts get ready to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Charlie, no secret, man, this is a must-win for the shoe. On the big stage, first home Monday night game since 2015. What's it going to take to get it done? Randall, let's just make this clear off the top. What are we about at Wish TV? Family, the community, and bringing you the biggest Colts games live on Wish TV here locally. It starts tonight with, as you mentioned, you've waited for seven seasons to see the Colts play in one of the best venues in football on Monday Night Football. That has been a major topic of conversation for Jim Irsay over the past three or four years. He gets it tonight and he gets this uncertain referendum that is Jeff Saturday as potentially a long-term coach here in Indianapolis. The roar was huge for Saturday against the Eagles. Imagine what it will be like tonight knowing the Colts' backs are against the wall, 4-6-1. and one. There's only one way to go the rest of the way, and that starts with a win tonight against the rival Steelers Saturday this past week. He was ready to run through a wall for Monday Night Football on Wish TV. I sure hope they feel it all, right, AC? Like, I, I, that's the way I see it. They're all, they're all must win. When I got here, it's, it, you know, they're all must win. So, um, yeah, we, we, when you're staring at where we are um, and, and trying to make a push, but, but again, the process matters and the way that we're going about it matters and that's kind of what I've been been preaching to the guys is that it's being able to transfer what we're doing on the practice field to the game field and that execution coming to life there because at every at every point in the game it's going to become a must right in the moment and so I think guys have done a good job of understanding it the wins will take care of themselves we got to make sure we're taking care of the process to get ourselves there Okay, Jeff, Saturday, the votes are still being cast. There is no question, although the Colts have a ton of ground to make up in the wild card standings, just seeing the Colts fans around here pregame, this fan base has not quit on this team just yet, and a win tonight could totally change the conversation around Indianapolis, Randall. I yeah, appreciate that, Charlie. Our guy out there with the best coverage in Indiana, we appreciate you, man. And there's no secret, guys. We know that this is a big, big game for the Colts. As Charlie said, they haven't beaten the Steelers in quite a while. First Monday night game in quite a while. A good night to make some good things happen. Now let's go to News A's Alexis Rogers and Phil Sanchez outside the pro shop entrance of the Lucas Oil Stadium. They have more coverage of what's ahead in tonight's game. How's it feeling out there right now, guys? How you feel? Woo, hello, Randall. You know what? Lucas Oil Stadium is the place to be, especially on Monday Night Football. Right. And honestly, we were just saying this when we were driving up. Mm -hmm. This is good football weather. I feel good about today. A little chilly out here? I mean, you, you know. Got layers on?